Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Hi friends, welcome back to this episode of the Language Tutor Spanish. I'm so glad you're back with me. And today in this lesson, I want to cover some terms that I hope you will find very useful because we're going to be talking about traveling through an airport in this episode. So get ready to write with your pluma, your pen, or your, your lapis and your cuaderno because I'm going to give you a lot, a lot of vocabulary words in this episode. But learn them and start to practice them. I hope you're traveling or I hope you're planning to travel to a Spanish-speaking country because this gives you the ultimate opportunity to practice what you're learning. I always love traveling, especially when some of my students go with me and we're walking through the airport and I've taught them these words and then they see all the words that I've taught them and everything they've learned in this section, they they see it on the signs and they use it in, in conversation and in real life. It's really cool, I love it. So get ready. Today, it's all about traveling through the airport. I just want to give you the words that you're going to need to know to make that happen, okay? So get ready to write. Here we go. First of all, the airport is el aeropuerto. Now, that was a little challenging because it's got the A and the E at the beginning. So just say AE, aeropuerto, all right? You can get that down easy. Now, if you're coming to the airport on taxi or you're leaving the airport and need a taxi, this word's really difficult for us English speakers. I'm being silly here. El taxi, yes, same word, el taxi, all right? Now, the airline is the line air, is really what you're saying, aerial. So it's la linea aérea, la linea aérea. <clears throat> Now, the plane is el avión, el avión, okay? That's the plane itself. Now, the counter where you go up to check your luggage, is el mostrador, el mostrador, all right? An agent, this word is actually the same for both men and women. It's either el agente or it's la agente. And we're, we're breathing that G because remember before an I uh, or an E, that G becomes a like a breathe, so agente. El agente, la agente, they're the same thing. Okay, now your ticket, you need that to get on board, right? Is el boleto, el boleto. And if you're going to leave the country, you need this one. The passport is el pasaporte, el pasaporte. And notice that we only have one S in Spanish for passport because only one is necessary. We're never going to have two S's together, two T's, two N's, two M's. In Spanish, you know, we'll have a double R and a double L sometimes, okay? Sometimes you might see um, a double C, all right? But most of the time, we don't have a lot of double uh, consonants in Spanish. Okay, so pasaporte is your passport. Now, you're walking through the airport, right? And you, you're looking at the screens, and you want to see the departure screens, the arrival screens, All those screens are important in helping us figure out our times when someone's going to arrive that we're picking up or when we need to be at our gate. Okay, so we're going to use the word la pantalla is screen. So la pantalla, la pantalla de salidas is the screen of departures. Now you might be looking at that word saying, hey, wait a minute, salidas? That looks like salir, the verb to leave. Yeah, it's the noun form of salir. So salida is the noun form. Now, you might be guessing already what the arrival screen might be. It's going to use the verb llegar as a noun form. So it's la pantalla de llegadas. La pantalla de llegadas. All right, let's move on. So you're going to need your numero del asiento. Numero del asiento. You're going to need that seat number. Now, where is that? That's usually listed on your boarding pass, which would be tarjeta de embarque. Tarjeta de embarque. Now, tarjeta is any kind of little card, right? You might use a tarjeta de crédito, credit card, card of credit, to buy your ticket. 
This is a tarjeta de embarque. So it's, a, it's the, the boarding pass. Okay, and it looks like embarking in English, right? Okay, and a lot of that's done on apps now, isn't it? I've been traveling several times lately, and most everything you need is right there on the app. So I love technology. So you got your seat number, you got your boarding pass, everything's good. You also might want to make sure you are in the right gate by knowing your flight number, which is el número del vuelo. El número del vuelo. The vuelo is the flight as a noun. Volar is to fly as a verb. Okay? Now, let's look where are you going. All right? El destino. El destino is your destination. That's where you're going. Now, you find the right place. You've got the, the gate there where you're about to go through and board the plane. That is the puerta de salida. Puerta de salida. Now, let's back it up a little bit. If you have to check in your luggage, you usually have to put your luggage on the scale, right? That is called la bascula. With that accent on the A, la bascula is the scale, okay? And you'll need a little luggage tag to put on there and make sure your name and address are on it. That is called el talón, el talón. And your suitcase is called la maleta, la maleta. Now, if you're one of these people that likes to hand off your luggage to the, the baggage handler, okay, he is called El maletero, el maletero. So that's easy to remember because maleta is the suitcase and the one who handles it is the maletero. So that's not too hard to remember. Now you are a pasajero, a passenger. Pasajero is a passenger. I hear that a whole lot in, in uh, airport announcements when I'm traveling. Now, you have maletas, okay. But now, and also another word for just luggage in general is el equipaje. El equipaje. That is luggage in general. Now, think about this. Let's take that word in the next step. When I get on the plane, some things I have to check and they go underneath the, the plane. But some things I take on board with me, the smaller bags, right? So those are called uh, carry-on bags. But in Spanish, their luggage of hand, equipaje de mano, el equipaje de mano. So that's luggage of hand that you carry on with you, right? Makes sense. All right, now, when you're traveling, you always have to go through this. El control de seguridad, security control. You got to go through security. It's el control de seguridad. You got to do that security check, okay? And... Sometimes you have to go through passport control. Some people call this passport control. It's control de pasaportes. El control de pasaportes. Now, typically, that is also called customs. When you first arrive at another country or arriving back in your country, you have to go through customs. Customs is called la aduana. La aduana. All right. Now, you arrive, you go through customs, and you have to go pick up those bags that you had to check. You're going to go to el reclamo de equipaje. El reclamo de equipaje. That is luggage claim. So you're reclaiming that luggage, right? All right. Now, let's back up a little bit. You're on the plane. The crew... Now, you're talking about the crew that works on the plane. The whole crew together is called la tripulación. La tripulación. That's the whole crew. All right, now we start breaking up those words uh, individually. The captain of the flight would be el comandante. El comandante. The pilot is el piloto. El piloto. The co-pilot. You'll never guess. Is copiloto. <laughs> copiloto. That's easy. That's easy to remember, right? It's just almost like English. Okay. Now, flight attendants. El asistente de vuelo. Also the same for women. La asistente de vuelo. 
Same thing, men or women. We have lots of men flight attendants and women flight attendants. They're all asistente de vuelo, okay? Now, let's just get a couple of supplemental words to go with it. To take a trip, we're going to use the word hacer, to do or to make a trip is what we're saying instead of take a trip like English. Hacer un viaje. Hacer un viaje. All right? And to leave on time is salir a tiempo. Salir a tiempo. At time. A tiempo. But now that always doesn't, <laughs> doesn't happen all the time, does it? Sometimes you leave late, which would be salir tarde. Tarde. All right. Now you can also, instead of saying leaving late, you can say leave with a delay. So that would be salir con una demora. Salir con una demora. Now, to take a flight in general would be tomar un vuelo. Tomar un vuelo. Remember, tomar means to take, to take in. It can also mean to drink in certain ways. Okay. And to pass through something. So let's say you're, you're passing through security. You're going to use the verb pasar. Pasar. So here, here is to pass through security. Pasar por el control de seguridad. Remember last episode we talked about por, through. So pasar por el control de seguridad. All right? Now, if you're going up to the mostrador, the counter, and you have to check your luggage, that's this word, facturar el equipaje. Facturar el equipaje. To check is facturar. Okay, now they might ask you to open those suitcases. It's happened to me many times. Abrir las maletas. Abrir las maletas. To open the suitcases, all right? Now, if somebody is going to inspect, that's the verb inspeccionar. That is a case when you will have two C's together. Inspeccionar, but you conjugate that just like any other AR verb. So that's pretty easy. To get on board is abordar. That's to get on board the plane. Abordar. To get off the plane, disembark. Desembarcar. Desembarcar. Okay. And to take off is despegar. Despegar. Now, to land, think of the Latin root, terra, ter, right, meaning the earth, ground. Um, aterrizar, aterrizar, to land. All right. To, now, we talked about to go to uh, luggage claim. Well, to actually claim your luggage, let's go back to that. We said reclamo de equipaje a while ago. Now, to reclaim, to get the luggage is reclamar. Should have mentioned that earlier when we were doing that. But to, to reclaim it is reclamar, AR verb, el equipaje. I'm going to give you two more words. A country, the country in general, is el país. El país. And sometimes you or I are a foreigner when we go somewhere, right? Foreigner is el extranjero. El extranjero. All right. Well, guys, I gave you a lot of words to work on in this episode, so I encourage you to really start practicing those and go to the Language Tutor Spanish podcast because you're going to be able to practice these words while you're on the go, all right? So be practicing, try to have conversation, maybe even think up an imaginary trip that you're taking just so you can form sentences and put them in the conversations in, in your own head. That's a great way, and it really helped me when I was learning Spanish. It was just to form my own conversations in my head. All right. So keep on practicing, my friends. Also, um, let me know if you're learning Spanish, why you're learning Spanish. Tell me about your adventure. Leave me a voicemail on the podcast. Okay. I'll see you soon. Amigos, hasta pronto. Friends, thanks for watching The Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.